Distance Park. like you're back in the neighborhood. Always a pleasure. Of course. What do you want? Honesty didn't make it, but the serum is in a safe place. Here's the receipt from the banker. I think they will think twice before they try to attack us again. Thank you, Roy. I just knew I could count on you. Here. You sure as hell deserve a reward after all you did for me. Mm -hmm. I don't have anything more to propose you at the moment, honey. You already helped me a lot. I don't have anything more to propose. I wonder where that one will be then, the coin, it must be in some, uh, either in the slum or it's in some totally different area, this bad part. I'm also curious to know when we're gonna meet the bounty hunter, maybe we meet him now in the arena. the slums we go You'd give a damn. Go on, tell me. I can always walk away if I'm bored. Really? I guess I don't have much left to lose. Mm -hmm. My wife, Fidelity, disappeared. She just left to go to the market in Tierville, but she never came back. It's been over two days. I've been to the army and they've been sympathetic, but that's all. They're all too busy running around looking for some renegade. Huh, I see. Are you sure she didn't just leave? What? No. She wouldn't. And she wouldn't leave all her things at home like that. Please. Either help me or leave. I can't keep on telling this story. Look, I'm pretty busy, so I can't promise you anything. But if I hear anything, and I mean anything, I'll make sure to get word to you. You do that? Thank you. It's far more than I've gotten from the authorities. Here, please, take her picture. I pray you'll find her. I don't know what I'd do without her. I'll be back if I have news. Why does it show... This is says tear wheel. Can't go that way. 
Oh well, yeah, that's how well it said it was blocked. And door here, I think. Hmm. Let's do that part first. Then. Wonder if there's gonna be a guard again here. Fools again. Serious. That teleporting again. to do this again Think you're going like that? I was just having a look. What's this room for? None of your business. Get out of here. Hey, buddy. Hey, thanks again for helping me out. Can I do something for you? I heard you can fill me in on how to get in touch with the resistance. Me? That's a pile of shit. Hey, listen. Not a safe topic, but you did help me out. They meet back there. I just keep my eyes closed. They think if a patrol comes by, the fights will keep them busy. There's a password. There can be no rest. Comes from their song. Thanks. I won't forget it. I wanted to ask you. Yes? Later. Oh, come on. Talk to him. Hey. Hi. What? Can I see what you got in stock? Uh, let's see. Does he have anything? Iron bar, huh? Yeah. Feel like it's worth it, really. Hey, where do you think you're going like that? There can be no rest until they drink of our tears. You may enter. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Forget it. You want to 
meet the resistance, consider it done. What do you want? I'll warn you right away that if they smell a trap, they'll kill you. Stop it, Marco. We know who they are. They have no reason to betray us. Really? Even the Renegade? I bet he could get his place back at the source if he turned us in. I doubt it. They know me too well and want me alive. They know I'm not made for the source. Roy won't betray you. They want him too. Please, you have to listen. All right, kid. Talk. My parents were militia. When I came back from the Abundance Camp, ruins were all that was left of their home. Poor kid. Almost everyone in the militia was killed in a single night. Not many of them got away. And they're with us now. I don't even know what happened to them. They could have been captured. I don't know. I have to do something. I can't just stand around twiddling my thumbs. You look sincere. And we need people like you. You, on the other hand, don't count on it. I can't take the risk. The Technomancers are too unstable. Marco, <laughs> we should maybe talk to the others before deciding. After all, he could be useful to us with everything he can do and all. Judy, I just tried to talk things over with the others as much as possible, but I said no. This man is dangerous. I don't trust him. Great. I can understand being paranoid can help in your kind of situation, but you're going a bit far. Please, Roy, let me try and convince them that you're an honorable man. Just give me some time. What was that? An explosion, but not one of ours. That wasn't an explosion. Only a fluid overload can make that kind of noise. The Technomancers again. We should get out of here. That kind of noise will bring a patrol straight here. Let's go, kid. Now or never. I... Roy, sorry. See you soon. Take it easy, kid. I should go see this explosion close up. Hmm. Uh mm -hmm. Ba -ba 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 -bum. Okay, five points. Uh, probably get that one, I think.
Oh my god, what the stupid rock. Do, do, do. So many to loot. Can get uh, through here now. Then. Hmm. Hey, a drug dealer. Just questions for now. Hmm. Shoot. You never have problems with the cops around here? Ha! The cops? The militia doesn't exist anymore. And the army's got other things to do. This is the slums, dude. Don't sweat it. Nothing's gonna happen to you here. And when a couple of soldiers do come around here, we take care of things. But don't go getting all misty-eyed. They ain't exactly clean, either. When they come see me, they're not after candy. I catch your drift. You ever have anything to do with the Resistance? What for? I don't give a shit about politics. And they ain't into my line of fine consumer goods. They like their good little fanatics to have a clear head. Especially their boss. Think it'd do them some good to do some now and again, though. Bit of tight ass? For someone who never met him, you sure seem to know a lot about him. In my business, you always find out about things. You gotta know what and who you're dealing with. And Marco, I heard it don't make a difference if you're on his side or not. He's just one mean dude. So the best thing to do, when it's like that, is stay out of it. I keep my distance and I run my company. I'll let you get back to work. Yeah, you do that. Mm -hmm. He's working so hard. See what's in here then. Her? What the hell is she doing here? Won't take long for a patrol to show up. I better get her out of the way. Hmm. 
There you go. Looks like she's waking up. Did you really think you could kill my master and get away with it? After running away with your tail between your legs? You thought a weak woman would never come after you, didn't you? Mary, Mary. Like you said, your master didn't give us a choice. You're exhausted and really worked up. I... I feel weak. But when I got here, I was full of anger and power. What has happened to me? You had an overload you couldn't get rid of. Young Technomancers are almost never told about things like that. It makes it harder for them to escape. You were alone, and all that power took over. Now you're empty. You should rest. I feel awful. Like I've been ripped to shreds inside. The overload was too strong. You need help. I'll go find some medicine so you can recover. Take this. It'll prevent any internal bleeding and get you back on your feet. I... I should thank you, shouldn't I? If I join you, will you teach me to control the Overload? I could teach you how to do that, yeah. Some people even learn to use the Overload without suffering too much from its effects. Are you going to sleep with me? Sean did. If it happens, I want it to be because you wanted to. Not because you feel you have to. You could help me a lot, Mary, but you're not my slave. Maybe, but I want to survive. And if that's what it takes, it doesn't matter. I'll say it again. You don't have to, Mary. You should only give your body to someone if you want to, not treat it like a piece of meat. I... Before now, everyone used my body in exchange for my life, or for knowledge. I'll think about it. Thank you, Roy. Okay. So she is with us now. Weird. Hello, Roy. Can I do something for you? I was wondering... You don't want to change what you're wearing? Your dress is ripped to shreds. Not really, um, discreet. This dress reminds me of who I am. It's a testimony of my shredded past. I've lost so much due to my ignorance. Today, I am what I am. A pariah. A renegade hunted by my peers. But also a new woman. Free to determine her own conventions. Without bonds. I suppose I can understand that. You're a little lost here. It's your last link to your past life. Alright, fine. We'll go on like that. How did you become apprentice to the warden of a prison camp? It's a long story. I... I'm sorry. I really don't know you. I'd rather talk about it some other time. What are the Abundance Technomancers like? Do they have the same status as here? I... I don't know much about it. But from what I saw, the people are afraid of them. Just like here. Even though they'll never be allowed to hold the highest offices. But they're in the army. They're officers. They are not allowed to form cliques or teams. A master is simply allowed an apprentice. Nothing more. They're primarily a military unit. For the battlefield. Nothing more. Why did you take the risk of following me? You would have kept your status and rank with abundance. I... I was so angry. Livid with rage. Sean had saved and protected me. I wanted to avenge him. Now I see that he was using me. But how was I to know that then? When he was all that I knew? I followed you for one reason. To kill you. You said he saved you? Yes, I... I'm sorry. I don't really want to talk about it. Hmm. I want to tell you something else. Come with me. 
I'd like to have you with me. It would be a pleasure. I prefer it when I'm with you. Hey. Mr. Temperance, I'm Devotion. General Onagrand sent me. He'd like to talk to you. Strange kind of invitation, seeing how they're looking for me. I thought I had observed all the formalities. Please forgive me. If you fear for your life, please understand that the General does not currently wish you any harm. Now that's a relief. Are you sure you're normal? <laughs> I believe so. On the other hand, I'm only following the orders I've been given. Given your current, uh, situation, I suggest you go to him through the Tierville Underground. You sure got the right name, don't you? Devoted and calm as they come. Yeah, all right, I'll go. And me? Am I invited too? I think you can come too. We didn't know Mr. Temperance had a... companion. That explains why the invitation didn't mention you. Please forgive us. I... I think I'd like to go too. Okay, let's go together then. Hmm. The general's waiting for you in his quarters. Once again, seeing as how you're a fugitive, we suggest you go by the Tirbilana ground and get there. like two different paths here now though. They want me to go through the slums to get to Tearwell. Hmm. Okay. See if we can go that way. Bum, bum. Ah, shit, shit. It's fighting. Job, huh? What? Uh, how did that not go through? Hello, game.
Might have. Tear will. Don't forget you can lock your target in battle. Target locking in this game is not a good thing, unfortunately. How does this look? Just the same thing as before. No?
Do do do. This way. Really? Oh You won't escape us this time, scumbag. We know where you're hiding. Come on now! I was pressing the freaking block there to parry that stupid uh, one. Hmm. You won't escape us this time, scumbag. We know where you're hiding. <laughs> That little poke he did? What the heck? Oh shit, I pressed the wrong thing. Is it?
that. I wonder if I should go here and get her first. Let's see how this play sounds. Takes us to under city though. We go there yet. Oh shit. That poor woman's body is in bad shape. That poor woman's body is in bad shape.
loot. God, man, doesn't give up, does he? We do see a lot of beautiful women walking by here, but that's not exactly my business. I don't pay attention to them. Maybe you should ask my security guard here. He's more vigilant than I am. That's part of what he's paid for, after all. Thanks. See you later. Uh -huh. A trick, dude. Oh, you already heard that. Uh... In your job, I imagine you keep an eye on everyone passing by. You know this woman? I see a lot of women passing by. What's so particular with this one? Besides a cute face. She's been particularly missing for two days now. Her husband sent me to find her. Husband? Sad. Hmm. Saw her, yeah. The day before yesterday, I think. With a guy. I remember because the way she was walking. She seemed not like drunk too much. He was helping her. They went through that alley behind me. I see. Thanks for the info. See you later. That was the body we saw then? Did you see her face? Just a quick look. The drool and the red eyes kind of turned me off. The eyes injected with blood, indeed. Significant amount of very thick saliva on the lips, which are otherwise very dehydrated. Oh, I also noticed that her hands were relatively red, especially for a corpse. You know this? All too well, unfortunately. They're the symptoms of EBL, which is also called date rape drug. A lot of it. Do I want to know why it's called that? The powder creates a powerful inhibitor in the frontal lobes. The victim loses awareness of their actions and the consequences. They become somewhat anesthetized, completely relaxed, uninhibited. Uh-huh, and open to every proposal from the first dog in heat to come walking along. Please, this drug is repugnant. 
And what makes it worse is that it has no odor, no color, and dissolves easily in any liquid. In other hmm. words, all someone has to do is pour a little in your drink, and before you know it, you're fucked. My word, I see you understand the principle. That's more than enough. You think she died of an overdose? No, I think she was still alive when the killer opened her up. I just hope she wasn't conscious. She must have bled to death. Yes. But again, I can't be sure without having properly examined the body. That's already an interesting lead. Thank you. You seem to know a lot on the subject. I'm a nurse. But, yes, I know the drug. Better than I wish I did. There's not much more to say. I think that's clear enough. That is. Sorry. So am I. I knew him, you know. At least, I thought I knew him. I feel so stupid now whenever I think about it. Stupid and dirty. But I'm still here at least, not like those poor girls. The monster killing them all has to be stopped, whatever it takes. And I'm sorry, but have his balls cut off. <laughs> How do you get the drug? Not on every street corner, I hope. You're gonna cut more From than a dealer, balls of off. Course. We get go to see him. my son's dealer. He must know more about it than me. All right, I'll go find the dealer. Okay. I guess that is the same guy then, huh? I go back to uh, Go back, yo. He's gonna respawn no matter what I do, I guess. I'm supposed to be able to parry from any directions. That parry doesn't work. So many times it's. Uh, annoying. That poor woman's bodies. Uh. 
I'm gonna go and check on the general first, and then we come back to this. The... Okay, I don't get this parry sometimes, man. Mm. Parried, but nothing like happened whatsoever. Why didn't my weapon get charged up either? Hit me from all the way over there, huh? That leap attack is so... Try to roll and then I uh, accidentally press the right mouse button to block at the same time. So that's going down the drain.
Why can I? It's like right in front of me. I can freaking hit it, and she does damage to me too. Oh my God. Huh? It's like I'm. My hits go right through the damn thing. Ah. Frustrating. She's uh, annoying to have as a companion. Damn, those. Um AUE she does, knocks you too. Of them up there, in essence. Oh, I'm gonna go that way then, huh? And the bad part is they have to come so close before you can use your spells. Then you're stuck in that uh, cast animation for a long time. Twice because their leap attack. Okay, how did my hit miss and he?
Evet. I hit this. He hit My boy is up there. Hitboxes are weird sometimes, man. Uh, I guess we need to go in there. over there so nothing we really need right now yes what do you want the name is Roy Roy Temperance I have a meeting with General Honor Grant I was told to come here yes you can enter of giving you up to the source. To be perfectly frank, I'll admit I'm not very fond of them. And they feel the same way about me. But I'm high enough up the ranks that they can't do much against me. Or those who work for me. Ah, I think I'm starting to see what you're getting at. All right, listen. I'm trying to understand how they got so powerful. I am worried. So I decided to put together a group of people to find out. You already know Devotion. She's my eyes and 
sometimes by hand. I'd like you to join her in the group, but I'm sure you have questions. I have one. You say you never liked Technomancers, yet you ask Roy for help. I know how to tell the difference between the Technomancers from the Source and a Renegade girl. And even if you obviously have the same skills and are a bit disturbed, <laughs> you'll understand that I'm not worried about you betraying me. Neither of you will find the Source and reveal the existence of my little group. And both your skills and knowledge of the enemy will be useful to me. More questions? You're in the government, you work with the Technomancers, and you're best friends with your Dowser wisdom. Why in hell would I join a group under the thumb corrupt and murdering people, huh? General, let me make him eat his words. No, Devotion, it's a good question. I put up with the Technomancers and their madness more than I work with them. As for the murders, I suppose you're referring to the disappearances in the militia. That is their work, not mine even if I can't understand the reasons for it. And as for the corruption, I think you're mistaken. I'm no saint, but I can say that today I am the only defense left against the Technomancer's coup. You're being hunted, tracked by the Technomancers, as you know. If you have my protection, they'll have to leave you alone. Hmm. I know you're a friend of wisdom. This group kind of looks like treason to me. You are mistaken. It is, on the contrary, my duty to protect my friend and Dowser from what threatens him. In this case, the Technomancers. I don't know how they've managed to convince him to give them so much power. Just like me, he knows they... that you are unstable. That's why they didn't have that much power before. But they are gaining strength, and I have to protect Aurora and Wisdom from their schemes. And devotion? You make her sound like your crony. Who are you exactly anyway, miss? The general told you. I am his eyes and hands when there must be killing. He took me in before the war. I was only a child. Since then, I have been showing him my gratitude. You can trust her as much as me. As long as you don't betray me, of course. Why not help the Resistance if you want to go against the Technomancers? After all, they have pretty much the same goal. Not really. I know they hate the Technomancers as much as I do. But they are idealists. And they want to change society. Power to the people. Allow me to tell you that that is as credible and inoffensive as what we are faced with from your former colleagues. Chaos. And in a few months, an invasion by the neighboring guilds. I did not win the war against Abundant to see my guild devoured so soon after my victory. <laughs> Those people may have good intentions, but they're dangerous. I'm sure you understand it's not the kind of decision you make just like that. I need time to think. I understand. And I have to admit that I find that reassuring in a way. You deserve your name more than it would appear. Temperance. I'll get back to you in a while. Thanks. I'm going in that case. Goodbye, Aurora. But don't forget, if you have even the slightest feeling for Aurora, I am its last defender. Hmm, I wonder if this is gonna be a choice then if I have to join this guy or the, or the resistance then. Maybe I'm not all the way back here. Uh, oh, we have uh, things to do in the slums. Like an overload skill.
Hmm. Well, if you get that or ignore it. Hmm. Means I have to get so many points before I can get that one. Oh yeah, I should get this one so I can move while uh, checking myself to the heal. Increasing it. Okay. Bit more defensive. Oh, yeah. Really need it. Let's get more. What did you find? I'm sorry. She's dead. They found her body in an alley near the market. Fidelity. I knew it really. I just needed to hear it. It wasn't like her to just disappear. How did she die? Please tell me she didn't suffer. Uh. Telling the truth. I believe she was the victim of a serial killer. Some sick son of a bitch is going around drugging girls and then carving them up. A serial killer? You think there's a serial killer in this city? And the army's fucking around trying to hunt some renegade? My poor Fidelity. Do you think she suffered? Hard to say. The drug alone was a lethal dose. Hopefully, she lost consciousness before he could do her any harm. A serial killer. I'm so sorry. I can't face seeing her like that now. I need to be alone. I'm leaving. Mm -hmm. Hey, my face. How's it going? You again? I didn't sell nothing to any kids. I promise. I'm good, thank I you. I hope not. Though that's not really my problem anymore. I came to see you for some information. Okay. I'm listening. Good. So tell me, Serenity. Do you sell EBL? Mm hmm. Sometimes. Just a warning, though. It's real expensive. And don't go asking for no discount. You ain't exactly a repeat customer. Ouch. You hurt me. Truly. But I'll forgive you if you tell me who you sell it to. Ha! I got a business to run, dude! I ain't ratting about nobody. Especially about those with that much serum to throw around. And you know that your business has a lot better chance of surviving today's depression if you give me what I want. 
Nobody will know where it comes from, so you can keep exploiting the misery in the neighborhood. Shit, give me a fucking break. All right, but spare me the sob story. I gave it the office. Anyway, first off, you can forget about names. I got no idea. They ain't from around here. They only come here to buy because I'm the only one who's got what they want. That's something, <laughs> for starters. Keep going. All right, so... The first one's quite a weirdo, if you ask me. But hey, he pays good and knows what he wants. The guy only buys EBL. He doesn't talk much, but honestly, I prefer it that way. Other than that, he dresses casually, his brown hair, but most of the time you'll see him wearing that stupid hat of his. Okay, and the other? All right, the other guy's got dark hair, kind of serious looking, and always dresses real good. Usually he buys some of everything and makes my day. No money issue, that one, either. And if they're not from here, you know where they come from? Well, the thing about customers like that is, less you know, better it is for everybody. Especially if somebody gets caught. The second guy came by a few days ago. Took a bit of everything I had, same as always. I kind of picture him somewhere in a place like Tierville, but that's just an impression I got. I can always go check it out. Thanks for the info. I'll let you get back to work. Yeah, you do that. Hmm. Oh, you can't walk on? I mean, he should have uh, legs, right? Um. Uh, Roy, can I do something for you? I was wondering... Nah, I'm not in prison anymore. I'm at a different place. Yes, a lot of running around here. Um, hmm. You still don't want to talk to me about your past. I... I'm sorry, Roy. I promise that when it feels right, and I've had time to sort it out. I'll tell you my story. Okay. I want to tell you something. No. Hmm. So. Point killer. Early miles. Being a nice guy. fact it's the work of an amateur this thing comes from a workshop that's for sure but definitely not mine you're looking for somebody short-sighted with one arm and if you find him make sure you break his fingers nobody should be allowed to make something this bad thanks I guess I'll go looking for another workshop know any others I don't know everything in the city there's a guy at the edge of the slums but he's been in the business so long, I'd be amazed if it was his. I can always go check it out. Thanks for the info. Oh. Um. There's a loaded whole big area. Please do not have respawn. Um. 
Hit me for the freaking fence, what the heck? Come on, we even get to finish it. That's a long charge up time on this. Loot. Here he was. Sir, back to sand. business and how thanks to you if I can do anything for you just let me know well now that you mention it I found this coin and I figured someone like you might be able to tell me a bit more about it well you got that right I made it where'd you find it you make a lot of them uh, no only on order time to time I get an order by mail and I deliver the package to an address they gave me what's the address well it's in the suburbs, but hang on. I'll look in my register and write down the exact place. But you know, there's no real point going out of your way for that. At worst, the guy will order more coins off of me. That's kind of what I don't want to see happen. Thanks for the address. Later. Oh. I'm just running back and forth now, man. Jesus.
The only annoying part is that the enemies respawn. That's a boring part. Since it takes so long to uh, kill them. Is the only tedious part about it. I wasn't a mind running back and forth. It's yes, the yeah, other had the same annoying enemies <laughs> over and over. But it's made for the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360, so it's kind of like Deus Ex Invisible War. It has the same thing, and that's why many people don't like that one. But Deus Ex is a pretty good game otherwise, story-wise and so on. Who are you? Why do you follow me? And what do you want of me? Whoa, 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 whoa. Anyone ever told you you asked too many questions? Well, I'm the one asking questions here. I asked them first, see? And you don't want to piss me off. You don't know who you're dealing with. Fine, the name's Roy. I think you might be the guy who murdered all these girls, and I want answers from you. All good? What? That's bullshit. Complete bullshit. Now get out of my sight, asshole. Listen, as I said, I want answers from you. If they're not enough, I'll just have to ask again, harder, until you confess your crimes. You waste your time, man. I won't confess anything because I just didn't do anything. Now just give me a break, <laughs> unless you want to kill me. Right. I'm leaving for now, but I'll keep an eye on you. This guy. Hi, you want something? I wanted to know if you've ever seen the girl in this picture. Let me see. No, but I wish I had. Who would have gladly whispered a few sweet nothings in her lovely ear? Uh huh. Too bad. I'm sure you know more than you're saying. I'm not sure I understand. Pretty simple. This woman was murdered, just like several others before her. And you're my primary suspect. That's ridiculous. I don't even know her. Why would I do any harm to her? And anyway, who the hell do you think you are accusing me like that? Some army officer? A bloody technomancer, maybe? Get lost. Look, I know you're the only one buying EBL around here, and strangely enough, all the victims were stuffed with that shit. What? I don't even know what that stuff is. Also, witnesses saw you walking around with that woman in the streets of Tierville. Bullshit. I don't know this drug. I don't know this woman, and you have no witness at all. Actually, you have absolutely nothing, or you would have told the authorities already. Unless you have something to hide. Leave me alone. Why would I tell the authorities? I just need to talk about you to the victim's husbands, to their families, to their friends. 
I'm sure they'll come up with something much more creative than a life sentence for you. Well, whoa now, let's just... let's just calm down, okay? All right. That's true. I knew Fidelity. I was her casual lover, okay? Not something I was gonna shout from the rooftop, see? She's married, mind you. And her husband's a serious nutcase. So now, he knows about the drug, and just a few minutes ago, he knew nothing. No one asked the exhibitionist whore her fucking opinion. Whoa, 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 steady, cowboy. Manners? Oh, my. I'm sorry, miss. I'm just... It's just you're putting me under pressure, right? Listen, yeah, I do buy some drugs sometimes. All kinds for all tastes. Just parties with friends, you know? That doesn't prove a thing. Leave me alone. I'm leaving for now, but I'll keep an eye on you. Yeah, right. Hmm, so who do we think it is then? Uh, it can be either. Maybe she has killed them both. You waste your time, man. I won't confess anything because I just didn't do anything. Now just give me a break, <laughs> unless you want to kill me. Right. I won't spend hours on that. I'll just kill you, I think. What? Yeah, right. No, seriously. I'm innocent. I'm just selling this shit, I swear! Hmm. <clears throat> Not much of a fighter, are you? What if it really is him though? As he said, he only sells the stuff. I think it's him. I think it's the other guy because how he just uh, went off on uh, Mary. Hmm. I think I did the wrong choice there. You again. What now? Somehow I was hoping you wouldn't cooperate. This gives me good reason to break every one of your bones until you confess. I've got nothing to confess. Nothing to do with these murders, at least. Nobody's perfect, right? So back off. I'm not gonna spend hours explaining it. I'll just do a good deed and take care of you, the hard way. Yeah, right. And I'm just gonna let you, huh? Come on, shit stirrer. You'll regret talking out of your ass once I've stuffed all the words back in. Someone was already back on the hunt. Yeah. There's good reason to believe this man is the one we were looking for. Your intuition was right, Master. It was how he went off on Marion when he saw her. Okay. Uh... Kill him too, though. Okay. 
Oh, you freaking serious. Fried. Excuse me. Back to San Vigo. Mm Thanks for taking care of us. Later. There we get. You got the XP? Uh, I think we're done. Keep chairs and Roy, see you. Can I do something for you? I was wondering. I want to tell you something. No, let's go. Damn it, and I had didn't save. Save all the saves in that part. Tenacity. I gotta admit, I wouldn't come to say hi if I wasn't getting paid to run. A nice electric guy came to ask me to kill you. And you know me, I'm real obliging when I get paid. If you think I'm just gonna let you take me out, I'm a 
hoping you give yourself up, actually. Cause you see, poor charity is not done in there. You can go fuck yourself. I know how you work. You'll kill her too, whatever happens. I'm hurt, boy. Really? I'm hurt. I thought you were free. How did that bu- Oh, these hitboxes, man. What the heck? Tenacity. Uh, I gotta admit, I wouldn't come to say hi if I wasn't getting paid a welcome. A nice electric guy came to ask me to kill you. And you know me. I will oblige you when I get paid. If you think I'm just gonna let you take me out. I was kinda hoping you'd give yourself up actually. Cause you see, poor Terry is locked up in me. You can go fuck yourself, I know how you work. You'll kill her too, whatever happens. I'm hurt, Roy. Really, I'm hurt. I thought we were friends. even closer and it still hits me what the heck oh my god can i freaking oh of course i can't move Oh my god, what was that stupid hit? And I was even. In I'm getting hit in this, like 50 miles away and I still get hit. And again, what the heck is that stupid hitbox, man? <sighs> that is so stupid. How is that hitting me? <laughs> That's so uh, God damn. You would think you standing on the other Tenacity. side of the table, you would be safe. I know, oh, no. I wouldn't come to say hi if I wasn't getting paid a buck. The nice electric guy came to ask me to kill you. And you know me. I'm really glad you when I get paid. If you think I'm just gonna let you take me out? I was kind of hoping you'd give yourself up, actually. And see, I'm hitting from behind, and I can't hit it because it's like I'm hitting it. I'm uh, wrong.
What the heck? He charges death way to the left. Okay, and then he just turns around with the charge. It's like. And right now the game is being a real. This is just stupid. Tenacity. I gotta admit, I wouldn't come to say hi if I wasn't getting paid a bummer. A nice electric guy came to ask me to kill you. And you know me, I'm real obliging when I get paid. If you think I'm just gonna let you take me out, I was kinda hoping you'd give yourself up, actually. Cause you see, poor Jerry is locked up in there. You can go fuck yourself, I know how you are. You'll kill her too, whatever happens. I'm hurt, Roy. Really, I'm hurt. I thought we were friends. This stupid hitbox is just so annoying. even close and it hits me I'm like freaking a mile away oh, this is so annoying Oh my god, I'm stuck! Hello, what the? <laughs> I was stuck between some barrels or something. Okay, I guess I have to thank him for killing that one for me. Oh my god, can I freaking hit the damn thing now? Accept this job. You know me too. I'm not the kind to do something for sentimental reasons. I was always a bastard. Just ask Charity. I must have had an unhappy childhood. But I'm always practical, and I don't feel like dying just yet. I broke that contract, and even if you decided not to kill me, I would still be in shit. You got yourself in it on your own. It's true. Listen. I think the only way I can get out of this is by working for you. 
What do you say? You know I'm good. You really think that after what you just did, I'm gonna hire you? Without mentioning how you're a turncoat? Keep dreaming. But you know I won't have a choice anyway. I'll have to stick to you like glue and take part in the fight. Now it's up to you, of course. He's pretty disgusting and doesn't seem very honest. But I like the way he speaks. He says funny things. Listen to the chick. She walks around half naked and it's like there's a meltdown going on between her ears. <laughs> you already got a nutcase with you. Why not a bastard? Great guy, Roy. Gotta say. Let me get my shit together and I'm all yours. Hmm. Well, you don't pull any punches. That's for sure. And I figured I was a bastard. Maybe I'm not the only one. That a problem? For me, absolutely not. It's just I didn't think you were like that, that's all. Anyway, if you didn't kill people, I'd probably be tempted to do it myself. Not so much for the serum, then again. So we don't leave some son of a bitch behind who can fuck us over in the name of something as stupid as revenge. I wanted to know... How'd you become a bounty hunter? It's a long story, but basically I didn't have much choice. I was living in Shadow Lair at the time, had some problems, had to get out. I started working for a guy, a real bastard to be honest. But he respected me and vice versa. One day he got shot and they tried to make me take the fall. I didn't have a choice. I had to go find the guys. That's how I started. I wanted to know... Hmm... What do you know about the guy who hired you? <laughs> Another guy with a ridiculous name. Generosity, I think. Yeah, right. He looks as generous as a good kick in the ass. And he comes across all lit up, too, like a war windmill. They said he's pretty high up in the source. Probably didn't make the decision on his own, like always with these inbreeds. <laughs> you can bet the whole guild wants your head. And the bounty was high. Real sad. What do you regret? The bounty? Or the fact that my head's still on my shoulders? The bounty? Nice amount of cash, you know. They must have kept it somewhere for when I showed back up. If we could get our hands on it... I don't see how you expect to stumble across it. Unless you want to go straight to the source. No thanks. I saw enough guys with batteries shoved up their ass for a lifetime, I think. <laughs> You know Shadow Lair by heart, right? <laughs> I was born there, but I didn't always live there. Bounty hunters tend to get around a bit. But I've been back for a while. So, yeah, I guess I know the place better than you. It's a big pile of shit with gutless wonders living in it and run by head cases. A charming little spot, my favorite. If you want, just ask me when we're in the neighborhood. I'll tell you what you want to know. Why not? I may find out some stuff from you, and uh, at least you make me laugh. I wanted to know. Hmm. What do you think about the resistance? <laughs> Dreamers completely disconnected from the real world. People who are doing everything to change the world, but don't understand they might just destroy it. Figure they're dangerous in their way. Bunch of freaks who think they know the real truth. Fucking extremists that gotta be real bitter because they weren't born with power. What do you think of Honor Grant? Our national hero? <laughs> More my opinion? I can't say I really know him, but the idea that if he could have taken over at the top from his buddy, he'd have done it. 
That guy can pretend he's as straight as an arrow, the paragon of virtue and all that shit. But he's just like everyone else. He just wants power. Can you tell me more about this neighborhood? <laughs> you know this place. I don't really know what to say. There's Charity's Bar, and that's where you're sleeping. Uh, this is the poor part of town. Got lots of mutants, but there's worse. Just go to the slums. But I gotta admit, it's got character, and you can lose a tail easier. Hmm? There's something else. Later. Uh, hmm. something for you I was wondering okay. I want to tell no he doesn't want to tell us anything um... and I knew huh. that scumbag when I was a kid he always was a snake anyway thanks thanks a lot I wasn't about to lose my best source of information don't be so cynical. You're a good man, Roy. I got nothing on me right now, but drop by my place. I'll give you something. Yeah, all right. I'll drop by. We drop by, all right? So I have two. Let's make a few. friend walk around dressed like that she sticks out a mile don't be angry with him madam I wanted to remain like this cute but not all there huh what do you two want <laughs> you said to drop by you'd give me something that's true knowing that son of a bitch tenacity I'd still be there here I hope you like it listen while we're on the subject the kid innocence came by while I was out he told the bouncer the resistance is getting a major strike ready on a train. He'll want you with him. It's a Technomancer convoy, if I understood, right? You should maybe find out some more. It could be dangerous. Hmm. Now we got uh, enough. Two points. To the slums we go again.
<laughs> Your wife's murderer won't be hurting anyone else. I made sure of that. You... You got him? I wish I'd been there. Thank you. Thank you for all you did for me. Nothing more than I can forget her. Take this. It's not much, but we've never been rich. Thanks, but no need. I believe the days to come will be hard enough for you without any money trouble. That's very generous of you. Yeah, it's a really good old school game. I like it. Uh. Why do you worry so much about that child? Is he your apprentice? No, I met him in the camp. He was lost and in real trouble. We escaped together. I guess that made us get closer to each other. I see. Even if I don't really understand why you're doing all this for him. You're taking a lot of risks just for someone you escaped with. Are you sleeping with him? <laughs> Mary, not every human relationship is about sleeping with people. You can uh. appreciate someone without doing that, especially with a kid. Does that mean no? Fuck yeah, that means no. No. It like knows nothing about the world, so... Resistance is planning to attack a Technomancer convoy. You know if the kid who was with me the other day is with them? You know, I don't actually follow their every move with bated breath. But it seems to me he actually was with them, yeah. They said something about freeing prisoners. The kid must have thought his parents might be in there. But it reeks of a suicide operation. Wasn't supposed to overhear their discussion. But I know where the attack took place. I can take you there. I owe you. I'm with you. We What the heck? Oh, everything is attacked.
Oh, what? Oh, come on, a hell of freaking Harry button. Oh, I didn't think that was gonna track me that well. Exploding when I die. Do 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 yes, we are not going that way then. Come on! Oh, 
sometimes when that hits, it's just so... I thought I was perfectly safe then. There you are. Over there, I was like, what the heck? through my block
worked out nicely though with the tech commands at that time. No. Oh shit, Charity. It was a disaster. The kid was arrested. I'm sorry, Roy. He seemed like a real nice kid, really. The attack was stupid. But I already knew it didn't work. You got a lot of good information, apparently. <laughs> Some young person came here to hide just after. Judy. She told me what happened. And there's also someone sniffing around your place. A girl who works for the general. That'd be devotion. She's his right-hand man, armed, from what I understand. <laughs> My poor Roy. You have to decide. You're going to need allies if you want to help the boy. And scenes I doubt the Resistance can put up with honor and vice versa. You should go talk to the two women. See what they suggest. The lady's right, Roy. We need allies. Especially with all these people after us. The lady's always right, sugar. Go find the two girls. You'll see what they have to say. Hmm. Roy! I'm happy to see you. Even if Marco doesn't agree, I know we'll need you. Like you needed innocence. Please, hear me out. You can't imagine how sorry I am about his arrest. But he wanted to take part in the attack. I think maybe we can help him escape when they decide to execute him. With your help, I'm sure we can do it. You know how important our ideas are to him. Marco didn't welcome you right, and he's still suspicious of you. But he's not the only one who makes decisions around here. Let's save him together, and then you can join us. We'll leave for Green Hope as soon as we free him. We hope we can weaken the Technomancers there. That girl looks like she really believes what she's saying. But who is she? That's Judy, one of the leaders of the Resistance. They're the people who are fighting against the politics here, and especially against the omnipotence of the Technomancers. But you're one, and so am I. Do they hate us? Maybe we should say no. Once they've used us, they'll surely kill us. I swear that won't happen. You're not like the ones who rule us. We're crushing the people of Aurora. What do you do, exactly? We fight against the corrupt Aurora government. A government that doesn't hesitate to kill the people it just won the war with. A government that oppresses the people and leaves all the decisions in the hands of the Technomancers. You've seen the poverty, all the checkpoints, how cruel they are. We're fighting to change all that. To restore freedom and pride to the people of Aurora. With your help, we can do it. We'll free innocence and go to Green Hope to ruin those monsters' plans. Let me have a bit more time to think about it. All right, but think fast. I don't think they'll wait long before they execute him. Okay. Uh... So... We have to pick a side. I have to check one thing. Uh, I want to know if it how does that affect quest wise?
Okay, so seems like this is a uh, depending what I pick, it will be different quests to do. Huh? Maybe we should um, do it like this. We do a save game, and maybe we can do pick one and play through that one, and then maybe see what other how the other one is. So in this one we pick the resistance and uh, see how much the, I have no much there is after this of course but could be interesting and maybe and do the other side and see how that one is then because the quests are supposed to be different. Bleed and have you decided? Are you going to join the ranks of those who fight in the name of freedom? All right, I'll join you if you do everything you can to get Innocent's out. Thank you, Roy. Here, Innocent's left his diary at the HQ. I think he'd prefer you to have it. 